Well, I love President Kennedy very much. I was one of the few weekly newspapers that covered the Ruby trial. And my actual investigating did not begin until I started reading the Warren Report and realized that something was very, very much amiss in reading that report. I really believe that the only way you can believe the Warren Report is to not read it. Have you found it difficult to uncover the facts this time? Yes, it's very difficult. Witnesses are reluctant. Some of them have gone into hiding, or at least cannot be found by me. And many, in many cases, the police have actually told, or in some case, some witnesses say, federal authorities have told them not to talk about the assassination. Uh, the witnesses are frightened. Uh, some of them uh, went into hiding. I'm, I'm sure that I spent at least one month searching for Earlene Roberts. And I don't know of any person, any newsman, or any investigator uh, that talked to Earlene Roberts after she testified before the Warren Commission. And her testimony was quite startling. Now, of course, she is dead. And she's not the only one. There are at least eight persons now dead, either from murder or at least strange deaths, who were closely related to Jack Ruby or Lee Harvey Oswald. Can you give us one, one instance uh, of a witness uh, who died a strange death? Well, let's take the case of Betty Mooney McDonald, one of Jack Ruby's strippers. A fellow named Warren Reynolds saw a man running from the scene of the Tippett slaying. Shortly thereafter, Reynolds was shot through the head. Now, before Reynolds was shot, he could not identify the man running from the scene as Oswald. Then he was shot through the head, and a fellow named Garner was arrested. Then McDonald was the alibi for Garner. She said Garner could not have shot Reynolds because he was with me at the time. Two days after her alibi, Mooney, Betty Mooney McDonald was arrested for fighting with a roommate, although the roommate was not arrested. McDonald was put in jail that night, and an hour later she was found hanged in her cell. And, of course, the Dallas police said she hung herself. 